Hey, it's hot out there, bro. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know what the fuck you're wearing. Bro, I'm tough. fucking sweating, bro. Sheesh. All right, all right, well, listen, okay? I played your games. I play, I play by your rules, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get free reign. You do what you need to do and, and, and prove me wrong, right? You turn them against me. And I, listen, I, I'm practically convinced, but I need to hear your side and, and how it happened. Because in less than 48 hours, OTT went from telling me that, like, I'm needed, you know? It, it's not the same without me. I need to be in there. And then uh, two days later, it's, Marty, you're trying to go against us and get us raided. You want to get us fucked up. How, how, how'd you do it? How did, I need to hear all of it, because I, I, don't, I don't know. Well... Well, I, I gotta be honest. Um, I think they kind of came to conclusions on their own, bro. Because for me, I didn't really talk about you to them. If I, if, if anything, I kind of ignored the topic entirely. I didn't, I didn't even bring your name up. Bro. All I said is that having the house in somebody else's name that is not in the group and having keys out there is uh i described it as an, an outstanding liability or um just a risk that we don't need to take you know and i think after that when they understood that that's a risk then they kind of put two and two together i didn't really have to nudge them in any direction i think ray was really mad at you though yeah yeah it's crazy how i saw ray and ott both get so mad at me for doing nothing you know, like, uh, I didn't defend myself, right? It's part of the rules or whatever. Because, I mean, how can you prove your point? But I, I didn't do anything, right? So how did how did they even come to that conclusion? I, it's like, uh, I mean, so there was an issue. What's, 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 their, an, uh, what's their motive there? So there was an issue of the missing key. Have you heard about that? No. Well, one day we woke up and the door was unlocked. The you know could get in and out of the, uh, of the house and didn't have a key. And they all sat down and they all came to the conclusion that nobody unlocked the door. So they came to the conclusion on their own that you still had a key left, right? And they thought that maybe you were plotting something. So I didn't even have to nudge them. They just came to that conclusion on their own. Because nobody else had a key. Because there was three keys. Benji was fully asleep the whole time. And it was proven. And then uh, the two other people, Ray, and I think, what, who, who, who had, I think, ODD, his key, both of them yeah. said that they, 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 are, they know for a fact they did not unlock it. And they woke up to a text from you know saying, yo, guys, come fast. Come lock the door. It's unlocked. And nobody unlocked it. And they came to the conclusion that you went in there and then you forgot to lock it. So they know that there's an outstanding key out there and they thought that's a risk. And they thought you were plotting. Mm. So did that happen or what? I don't remember. But I remember. I don't think so. You're smiling. I can see it. <laughs> I can see you smiling, bro. What the heck? It's just crazy. Crazy. Uh, you were right. So you, you the door unlocked? Why? God, no, bro. Bro, listen. I was what about what? You're right. You're right. That you're plotting? Yeah. That you're at risk? No. That you're your key? Or that you're not unlocked? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm just saying it. I'm just saying it. The way you portray yourself to others is very important. And when you give them a lot of fucking, a lot of blank spaces, well, they have to fill that, those blank spaces with their thoughts, you know? And if you give them a certain yeah. vibe, they, won't, they will fill those blank spots with a bunch of negative thoughts, man. I did, negative not go, I did not go and unlock that door, no. I did not. I did lock it for them, though. So you remember them? Because they called me in, and we had a meeting, and they all said it. 
we did not unlock that door. That's all. I am 99% sure that I did not. I did not unlock and leave it unlocked. 99%. So you don't have a key? No, I already gave the key back. Wait, how do you not know this? You don't remember? Makes sense. Okay. All right. So... My so point you're is, saying there's a chance. Okay. Does it matter? No. I don't think it matters. I think it only matters to the point where they will make conclusions. You know? Right. But it doesn't matter to me anymore. Okay, okay? why not? Because you proved me right. You proved me wrong. Okay? I believe you now. They wouldn't work. At least for me. Right? They... Their loyalty is crackable. You were right. I was wrong. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you win. All right. But I am still a little upset about you because you started to play your fucking game without telling me first. When we met up with that laundromat, you started to play it and you tried to crack the loyalty and you started to. Yeah, we agreed on that. But you shouldn't have done that without talking to me first. Um, hold on. Wait a minute. Okay. Which laundromat? Remember when uh, when I went up and you were like uh, pointing the finger at me and then I said, fuck you, fuck you, you know, and fuck you, X. And I left. You made me feel crazy. Uh, did I? Yeah. And then we met after. I think we were all a little crazy that day, bro. Straight up. Yeah, I know. I know. You made me feel insane. Okay. Well, I wasn't going to leave the group. I think it's, I think it's too early. Everybody knows we're not going to be together forever. Yeah. But their loyalty did shift. I agree with you. But I really wish I understood it. That um, when you act petty with them, like, it's like setting a, a spark to the oil, you know? Yep. I feel, I feel like yep. they, they, they shouldn't swap, though. I do agree, though, that they, that they switched up. I mean, that's the thing, right? We, you and I can be petty with each other, and, and we won't switch up. They were so quick to. Yeah. Uh, cause, cause, cause I haven't switched up, right? I do think though that they switched up. Yeah. Between me and you, we knew that me and you wouldn't be over, right? Right? Yeah. Regardless, and that's kind of how it should be with them. Do you agree with that? Yes. In order to have a strong group, right? The dynamic that me and you have should be the dynamic that we have with all of them. But if you really think yeah. about it, right? They didn't really give you that. Did yeah. they? No, they didn't. And it, when they switched up, it's like... Uh, they, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a discussion. It was an accusation every single time. You no, know, they, just, they just formulated this idea that I... I I was doing all these things and they never even took the time to ask me, right? Like, like OTT got upset about a crowbar and thinking I didn't want to let him in, but in reality, I was hunting some, some motherfucker that, remember you were there, we were hunting the motherfucker that was uh, trying to rob me for mine. So like, I, I couldn't just have yeah, my crow I think that's out about. I think, I think, I think that's, that's also my problem. So the, yeah. I think that's the only thing I was right about, but it's also the only thing that matters, is the fact that when shit goes wrong, right? We could be as upset as we can be, right? But it's still gonna work out. But I, I don't, I don't think they gave you that. You know, I think yeah. there's a little bit of a switch up in energy, which is pretty bad. This is yeah. not the type of, this is not the type of dynamic we have with like Mr. Lang. This was Mr. Lang. Sometimes we would go, we go on to fights and we, and we'd get into arguments and shit, right? But it wouldn't, it wouldn't end right there. Yeah. Yeah. When it really came down to it in actions, not only in thoughts or feelings, right? In actual actions, 
Uh, we, we, we could still prevail. Yeah? So what do you want to do about it? Yeah. I mean, you were the one that was right. So, so I mean, what do you think? Oh, man. Between me and you? I'm going to be honest, man. I tried it. I, I really did. And none of this is for me. The, the, uh, the business, the fucking phone calls, the fucking meetings, the materials, the fucking brake parts, the fucking clutch parts, the fucking politics. I fucking hate this shit. I fucking hate myself. I think it can all suck it. That's where I'm at right now, brother. And I'm gonna be honest with you. If, if I don't get kicked out or I don't end up fucking him over, I will fuck myself over before, you know? I would, I'd rather fucking... I better go back to doing dumb shit. This is it's not for me. I mean, I already basically parted ways. So. Getting a, a getting a house and shit and everything was all like a an experience or a thrill, right? But sucking people off that are stupid and illogical for fucking 1.3 dollar margins a pop, bro. I'm not. I, I'm sorry, man. This I wasn't cut out for this. I, w yeah. I wasn't good off this. Yeah. So, um, this is one of those things where I feel like I'm I'm scared that if I tell him I don't I don't I don't want to do it anymore, right? That the whole group falls apart. Well, I mean, we're both liars, right? I was lying to myself and. Uh, by not admitting it, you're lying to everybody. So, I'm done lying to myself. It's just, uh, you gotta decide if you're done lying to everybody. And just fucking let it out, my oh boy. Oh man, they're gonna hate me for this. Bro, they're going to hate me for this. I, I think, I think I'm gonna step down from CEO. Right? And I think that'll soften the blow. I, I can't, I can, I can, I can step up to the, to leadership, right? In a, in a bunch of, uh, style of organization and whatnot, but to be ahead like a, of like a business and stuff like that, I, I can't do it. Somebody else has got to do it. I can still remain in, in the company as a, you know, as like a, as like a holder or a helper and shit, but I gotta be honest with you. I can't, I can't lead this group and, and be passionate about it. Sorry. Yep. I mean, me neither. I don't even know if I, uh, I don't even know, know if I want to be attached to it. Right. Considering like they never gave me that opportunity to speak for myself when it came to the accusations and the possibilities of, of whatever I may or may not have been doing. I never, I never even got the chance. So why would I, why would I give them that one? You know? Um, Man, this is tough. Yeah, you're telling me, man. I mean, we're never gonna have a house or a bench and shit if we're going our own, bro. So what do we do then? I mean, there's other people that believe in us, 100%. Oh man. What about Mr. Lang? You think we got his good side and fucking? I haven't talked to him in years. Like, he, years. He literally will not listen to us right now. Unless we work, like, eight hours a day doing trash. Trash. Uh, I'm, I'm not kidding. He will literally not associate with you. Or even talk, or entertain any of you. If you're not wearing, if you're not wearing a fucking reflective vest, okay? And you're not doing a full-time job of picking up trash. He will not even say your name. Away. I'm I'm not kidding. And you've had to sit down with them? Yep. He said I, I was fatherless, goalless, and I wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> That's what he told me. 
So, I mean, I, I'm not against having to sit down with him and, and, and seeing if he still feels that way for both of us. I don't know. I, I, think, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna chill and, uh, and work for Lang for a little bit. Make some money or some shit. No way. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna okay. do. I'm gonna get a fucking reflective vest and um, help out the union, perhaps. I I'm gonna be I'm gonna be Lang's dog. Okay. Well, uh, are you gonna meet with the the company? Yeah. Okay. I don't have to go, do I? Probably not. All right, man. Let's go do this. You know calling me. Uh oh. You know, I haven't cleared shit up with you know at all. Uh, yeah, I, I, I have my problems with you know. Uh, what, uh, have you spoken to him about the whole thing or no? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be what fucking, with, with I, don't, I don't want to be business Andy anymore. Guys, I thought we would have a fun arc with all the fucking material shit, but I hate it.